show. Check it out. The Rainbow Family Podcast. Coming live. Straight to you every Saturday night. 8-Bit. Electropunk. Underground Electronica. We've got it all. RFP. It's a way of life. Played. Listen to that. Okay. Well, I'm going to the dog threat, right? Mm-hmm. And my, he's telling me I have this problem with my front head when I'm touching it. It does like that. Oh, crap, oh, shit. You and I must have been drinking out of the same cup, you we know? Did. Because when I have the same problem with a lady, she goes to touch the testic lights and it makes a sound like this. Oh, that is sounding like the same sound of uh, my front head, like this. Oh, crotch, the same as your front head, like this. You mean like this? Yes. Let me tell you about American Idiot. Hi, D, I, T, O, T, H. Here's a couponette for a punch to the face. We break off your legs, put you in a sweet case. You better run face like a dog and get chased. I am the dog, you are the gate. How you like that? Hit to the head with a hard piece of bread like Now you're dead I hate you so much I take your mother on a date Telling her she's playing and I'm eating five steaks I guess you two mess on us was a mistake But you're an ID, I-D-O-T-H I-D-I-D You're free to say Go and get a punch to your face I-D-I-D-O-T-H Time for get a punch to your face to your face Time to get for a punch to your face Weak 152 and backshot babies We bite you in the leg like a cat with rabies Take all your ladies and make them to pay late fees at super stations And still they don't hate me Cat rock you try to sing but you can't Maybe because you forgot to put the other ring Now Britney Spikes want to go You want a date cause you're an ID ID O-T-H I- To your fights. Time for you to a punch to for your fights. Scott Green cats on yes. A punch to your fights. This round it's time for a punch to your fights. Time for get the punch to your face You say your head snake on the stock plate on your mother's says When you came home you got beyond and abuse the field stunt Cause we beat you in electro cuban Head goes under our foot like shoe dirt We saw your girlfriend in rod in her blue skirt We put your car on the street to be back But then did hit you harder than the Washington tackle So please take a header for a punch to the face Nothing could be better than a punch to the face You're not very good like Buff Doggy and Lace So take out your socks and drop off with the race Hain, have another punch to your face Go tell your mother you got punched in the face Pay for your gas or lose your ID Going down the street, doing really fast You want to do a race in the first place, not late So you decide that you need some gas Into 7-Eleven like baseball base Pump, two, three, four Galleons, you decide you need some more Keep doing, five, six in the hand And I look at you and you start to laugh I think to myself, what is funny? You get in your car because you forgot your money I don't know, so I try to punch to your tummy But they're gone like the sound When it's not sounding Gummy, bears, bananas, bears, hyunder, bears I don't care what you wanna buy, but don't try me Pay for your gas or lose your ID Pay for your gas or we call the police Pay for your gas or we call the cops Pay for your gas or you lose your ID Might be good bags and we don't stop Pay for your gas or we call the police Pay for your gas or we call the cops Pay for your gas or you lose your ID Might be good bags and we don't stop You want the chocolate so you try to shop play But it's not bad You did not see the hidden Camera, Anderson, Pamela, fun is in my store, one I'd like to be Pamela, oh. Jamie the rhyme about this one time A kid hang lifted the soda him in lime I saw him, he didn't know I saw him So I got the pizza let and tried to throw him This way the police would know who he was He would be off the list to sign to a clause No more flat paints in fireplace Pick it bomb, destroy entire place I see you on the street and don't say hello Dean Rhyme, jump and hit you with elbow In the eye, so don't try me Pay for your gas or lose your ID Pay for your soda or we call the police Pay for your soda or we call the cops Pay 
for your soul, don't call you loser. Hide in my big group X and feed on stop. Pay for your gas, so we call the police. Pay for your gas, so we call the cows. Pay for your gas, so you lose your hide in my big group X and feed on stop. That was Group X back to back with I D I T I D I D. Oh man, I guess I'm one too, an American idiot. That yeah, sounds like Green Day. Well, anyways, two back to back songs by a really good online group called Group X, which I wish they'd come back with new music. They were actually really good. Uh, well, today's episode is no actual special guest. But a bunch of guests on the episode. I went down to Stockton Con 2014. Stockton, California. And, well, that's where I've lived in the past. And I live right next door to now. But I digress. Went there and interviewed a bunch of artists. A bunch of uh, promoters, business people, some wrestlers. Man, it was really cool. Well, you're going to hear it. You know, there's a lot of musicians that are really talented. A lot of people in general are talented who go underlooked, you know, and unfortunately. Point being, I kind of have bad news. Uh, one of the groups I came across was Chaos Con Queso, which I believe translates to Chaos with Cheese. They were like a, I don't know, like a, I, I don't know what they call it, post-hardcore, rock, metal, mixed with video games. You know, and they were really good, but I found out when I went to go see what they were doing now, I found a music video and then the link, same thing with Capital Stays, I found out afterwards that uh, per they had a car accident and four out of the six people in the group had passed away uh, on a tour. So I, that really sucks. So I have to play this song for them. This next one that's coming up. Other than that, like I said, Stockton Con interviews and some great music. Bam.
Did they ever have that atomic war? Yes, in 1985. Most of the Earth's surface was destroyed, and it's taken us 200 years to pick up the pieces. Oh, how sad. Floating in a toilet. Can't fix that. Better off dead. Yo, I ain't even gonna waste my voice. Just suicide bomb your neighbor right now, nigga. Yeah, preschool tea party massacre 05. We're here to kill your pops, rape your mom, and burn your local priest. We're here to key high everything. Even now, the eternifying fluid is coursing through your veins. But it, it won't be painful, I assure you. But why? Why us? Because you are here. And you are men. And while there are men, there can be no peace. Your mission is to infiltrate the Infosphere and plant this quantum interface bomb, blasting them into an alternate universe from which there is no return. Turning to life, the word trouble loses much of its meaning.
Both of you. Oh, okay. Um, for starters, what's your name? I'm David. Oh, I'm Ed. Ed? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Matt. Nice to meet you too. Matt? Well, uh, I guess a good question would be, what made you guys come to Stockton Con this year? We did it last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a... I, I came to the very first one that was over at a UOP campus. I think that's where uh, it's, it's called UOP. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was like this, and it was just packed. And so I was like, uh, you know what? I think I'll come to the, get a table next year. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. I, I got I got tagged along into uh, tabling with these guys. Uh, we started off as originally P5 Creative, and our buddy uh, Vincent uh, was able to put us on. So that's what we did last year, and that's how we were able to get a table for this year again as well. Because they just asked, hey, if you're interested in coming back, so we were definitely on. Like yeah. the crowd is definitely. And they're always just coming by, just checking us out, just saying, "Hey, like, like what you're doing," and you know, just asking us about like what we, uh, like what projects we're working on next. So it's, it's, energy here is hot. Yeah. Well, it's definitely. You guys got great art, and I think it's all you guys are inspiring to a lot of people that come to these things. Like you said, you came to the one that was at UOP, right? Yeah. That was the first one I went to, and we, me and my buddies, filmed and did some interviews for that one too. Um, I missed the last couple ones, and I just came from Lodi right now for this one, and I mean, I didn't expect for it to be this big. Not at all. It's it's amazing the amount of support that this type of uh, industry brings in this area. I had I had no idea, you know. Like this is there, it, this is more crowded than WonderCon was when WonderCon was in San Francisco. And I thought that would have been like the biggest one, you know. Yeah. But it, this is. I, mean, look I, I think this. this is also because of the space. I mean, yeah. one, the space is definitely a lot more condensed. But also, I think it's because there aren't that many cons in Northern California here. Like, 
WonderCon is now in uh, Anaheim, and San Diego is becoming to the point where it's like, you gotta get in quick, or you're not in at all. And I think with Stockton, it's like, hey, we have a con up here, like, if you guys are interested, you know, just come on down. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it also just a lot more enjoyable, too, is that, that we actually do have something up here that we can actually go to. Yeah. That's how I feel about it, too. It's like this city's ripe for the pickings. Because I've lived here for a while, and there's so much potential here. It's just we lack the money and the, the, the funding, you know, sponsors and this and that. And to see this to actually be the success that it's turned out to be, I mean, compared to coming from UOP, it's yeah. a big difference, right? Yeah, it's, it's great. And, you know, it's still kind of like a local town feel to it, you know, like... Um, if you go to like WonderCon and stuff like that, there's guys from New York coming there and got you know from all over the country, the world, showing up their artists, which is really cool. But it's also really cool to have something like this where it's all local guys or like people who grew up in this area uh, doing this, you know. And it's then everybody's showing that kind of like local support. It's it's neat, yeah. You know? It's really kind of cool. So I, I mean, uh, so far we've done it two years and yeah. it's it's been great. Yeah. You know? Six months. Looking forward to next year. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the best. I was about to ask you for a finishing statement. I guess that is the best answer. I'll wait for next year. Yeah, looking forward to next year. Hopefully, I, somebody told me there was 35,000 people here yesterday. Is I that true? It. I have really? no yeah. idea. I know it was, it was pretty. It was pretty like closed out in here. Like I think they had even had like the fire marshal in here already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were. I think they were just like we gotta close the doors. Like that's how intense it was. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for you guys' time. It was great meeting you. Thanks, man. It was nice it was, meeting uh, you, too. It was your podcast. Um, it's actually, uh, I guess for starters, would you like to tell me a little bit of these uh, pictures right here? Oh, yeah. Well, um, most of these pictures, let's see. Um, a lot of them have kind of different stories behind them. Um, this one was the most recent one that I've done. Um, uh, the most recent kind of fan art. Um, I'm a big fan of Gruen Lagon, so um, I wanted to do some fan art that would really show the, the same look and feel and, and over-the-top kind of action that that anime has. Um, so I decided to, to pick Yoko just because she's such an, an awesome character from the anime. Yeah. Um, uh, some of these other ones are kind of concept art, like um, these over here are kind of um, just concept art that I was doing um, with a few friends coming up with our own video game characters in our own world, um, trying to develop some really unique characters visually. Um, most of my stuff is really inspired by comics and animation. Um, I'm really, I mean, ever since I was young, I've been inspired by comics, so that's been a big inspiration for me. Um, I do 2D animation um, for work. I um, work for a video game company uh, called Fifth Planet Games, and I do 2D animation as well as concept art and uh, character design. Do you do storyboarding? Like for the... um, sometimes I'll do storyboarding uh, when it comes to kind of creating an idea for an animation. Um, something that's going to happen, then I'll really have to sit down and plan it out and, and figure out, you know, what is this thing going to look like before you start animating it in the computer. Um, so once in a while I'll do storyboarding, um, or I'll do storyboarding kind of on my own for um, other animation ideas that I have. <laughs> that's cool. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. I'm yeah. David, by the way. Thank you. Matt, right? Yeah. Roper? Yes, Matt okay. Roper. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm David. Okay. David. Uh, David. Nice. What's your name? Cliff. Cliff. Nice to meet you. Um, well, yeah, I'm just going around doing interviews with people. Okay. What got you into art? Art, I would say the animation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Batman animation in yeah. the 90s. Um, what are you working on right here? Looks I'm, to be uh, Mega Man. Oh, yeah. Mega Man 2. It was requested by a friend yesterday who <laughs> came by the... the <laughs> And so I actually started this this morning at 5 o'clock, and then now I'm just getting to the finishing touches of it. Yeah, it looks really nice. Thank you. How long have you been drawing? I'd say fifth grade 
I'm 25 now. Yeah. Fifth grade. Probably over 10 years. That's cool. Roughly over 10 years. So all of these, all of these are yours? Yeah, on this half. On this half? Yeah. And then this half is... Uh, this is uh, Janelle. Hi, I'm David. I'm Janelle. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess same questions, uh, if you don't mind. How, how long have you been uh, drawing? Um, ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be an artist and do it for a living. So. You need the turtle. Yeah. <laughs> what brought you two to Stockton Con? I mean, how'd you guys get on, on this? Um, I started because of Clifton. Um, he just wanted to know because like uh, we both yeah. went to UOP, yeah. and uh, he was like, "Oh, I, I started doing cons, so anyone want to join me?" And uh, so I was like, "Sure," you know. <laughs> Do you guys make money by the art that you sell? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, for each con, I mean, like, because you could only, I mean, they don't come around so often. Is this like a kind of like a once or twice a year kind of thing? No, actually, I. I try to travel out to Southern California also. Um, WonderCon, I go often as an attendee. Long Beach, I'll do a table. Uh, what else? I went to Arizona to check it out for the first time. I will do a table there next year. APE will be in San Francisco next October. It's coming October. So, I mean, we do this, we're trying to do it four times, five times out of the year. Out of the year? Oh, yeah. Do you have like uh, regular jobs that you do on the side? I do. Yeah. I, have a, I work as a server and I work as an assistant martial arts instructor. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Well, appreciate you guys' time. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 See you. Are you enjoying um, uh, selling stuff at Stockton Con? Pretty good so far. I'm just here doing a thing for my website, just interviewing awesome. podcasts and all that. Do you yeah. have like any information? Um, I actually I could write down the website. Okay, oh, I'm like info. Oh, sure. I'm just walking around and taking um, just everything of what's going on. Yeah. This year it's gotten big. I know. Four, 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 three. So three. Yeah, so three. I need like a little piece of paper so I can take down a website. Thank you. Well, um. Uh, I actually came with my buddies and filmed the first Stockton Con they had at UOP, and I haven't been back since till now. And it's completely gotten. Somebody told me 35,000 people were here yesterday, all together. Really? Insane. Oh man. I heard Mick Fuller was here, and like you know I got here, and there's all kinds of people. Staff members are is that Jason David Frank is driving through Stockton, that he's gonna stop. Who? Jason David Frank. I'm not sure Jason that is. David Frank, the Green Ranger, was going to stop by. Oh, yeah. the Green Ranger, okay. He's going to, there's a possibility I, that he's just going to come in. He's getting a one dollar. I'm, Thank you. oh, I have to yeah, leave it. If that happens, this, this place will get hit so hard. I have to, what? I have to leave it for her. If he does show up, that'd be cool. Danny Glover was actually just walking what? around and nobody even yeah. knew who was. Really? <laughs> He was here yesterday, I heard. Yeah, but he was just actually walking around. Nobody even noticed him. He probably did that, I mean, just to see if anybody would. I'm like, really? Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. have a It's Thank not. You. It's not calm. I kind of ran out of the room, but I'll get the. I'll get the ending of it. Okay, cool. Nice Thanks, meeting you. Nice meet you. You guys have good luck. All right. See ya. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, I'm doing an interview for my podcast. Would you like to say anything about your company, Aspen Comics? What's your podcast? It's a podcast. I just started making it. I make it out of my house. Oh really? I last interview I did was with somebody from Bulgaria, though. That's cool. So I mean, like I do music and I've been doing it, and I'm just here doing interviews with people. Just seemed like the thing to do. I'm David, by the way. Sure. Frank. Frank, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Aspen Comics, I've never heard of it. Um, well, we've been around 11 years now. Mm -hmm. The founder of our company was Michael Turner. He's a really popular artist in comics. He was known for Fathom, a book called Soulfire. Mm -hmm. uh, he also worked on a bunch of stuff from Marvel and DC. We did The Return of Supergirl, which was really popular. So uh, he passed away six years ago from cancer. Sorry to hear that. No, thanks. But we've continued the company ever since. We have a lot of different properties besides those two. Uh, we're here. One of our newest books is called Damsels in Excess, a princess-type book, uh, which was 
was created by Vince Hernandez. So that's one of our real popular books right now. Another book called Lola, which is another one of our really, really popular books by an artist named Sia Moon. She writes it, draws it, colors it. So uh, quite a lot of our stuff this summer has been uh, well received, thankfully. So it's cool. Yeah, that's good. Well, hopefully you continue to have great success, man. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.
let the first recorded words of my adult life go as follows. <laughs> I've got a real problem Trusting you Cause I know when I'm drunk I know just what you'll try and do sigh, he hopped out of bed and began putting on his clothes, consisting of a pair of pink Daisy Duke shorts and a too small tank top. As he looked at himself in the mirror, Kim smiled again as he looked as he always did, a little girly kitty boy. Show. 
I just set a new course. We're going to Cloud City. It's a mighty good gin and tonic. She makes me a another. And that concludes yet another great episode of the Triple S Podcast. I didn't say this in the beginning, but I'm going to say it now. I am your host, David Mercer, a.k.a. Mr. Thoughts. And, well, we didn't really have a guest. We had Stockton Con on the bill for today. You guys make sure you check that out, Stockton Con 2014. They're going to have another one next year. Now, today's episode's musicians include Group X. Chaos Con Queso, Free School Tea Party Massacre, they are like the following group, Bubblegum Octopus, where they're like super cyber grindcore death metal, and they're also very punk, so their songs are like about a minute, so they are played back to back, followed by, after the interview, comes in with White Guys Jumping, Sex Copter Rule. Eat Babies. They have a question mark at the name of their band. They're from Canada. Eat Babies. Question. 8-Bit Suicide. Who's scheduled to be on one of the next coming episodes as an interviewee. I think next episode. Uh, we're working on that. So tune in for the next one. OMFG Stevie. Or I guess he just calls himself OMFG! Exclamation mark, Featuring New Year's Revolution and Laura Cat. And lastly, I'm going to leave you guys off with somebody named Richie from Switchy. Fuck you, Richie. You're a douchebag. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, and that's how I'm going to put you on here. Here's a clip. We're going to start it out the remaining of the episode with Richie and Vincent Flaw live. I really wish I could find Richie's material, because I used to have a few of his songs. But it's really, really difficult to find any of his stuff. And if you do find it, it's even harder to find a download link. So, Richie, this is a shout-out to you. I know you're still a fuzzy little guy in San Francisco, but you need to keep making music, and you need to at least put all the music you've made at a website like SoundCloud, so it can be downloaded and shared. So, since I couldn't do it that way, I had to do it an alternate way. Also, another person who I hope to have on the episode... Also, Richie, you can be on the episode, too, if you want, on an end episode. He's a guy named Big Suggs. He has the really awesome Super Mario instrumental. And, well, last but not least, because this guy is a really, really good, like, artist. Like, seriously. I didn't give him the chance at first. Ha, ha, ha. Pun. Uh... I came across them when I was listening to, uh, who was it? Oh yeah, Pro Era on YouTube. He was uh, located up next to it, and it was, it was called Chance the Rapper. And I didn't listen to him at first, and then eventually I got around to listening to him, and now I have two of his albums, and he's really, really, really good. So I'm going to end it on a good note. So until next time... Keep listening to independent music. Keep fighting the powers that be. And above all, keep thanking God for letting us live in this thing we call reality. Eternity, existence, whatever you want to call it. But if you don't want to, I guess you don't have to. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. That would be the enemy. Now look, I'm rambling on and on and on. A message from the sky.
the future? Wait, hold on. I can decode it. And chauffeurs with roll rage to the same damn ad lip. Ah, always still gotta let him in. No breakfast, still gotta burn him in. No lacking, still a lot of jams. Nigga, no jacks, no joy. We toe tagging. I take it to the land where the lake made of sand and the milk don't pour and the honey don't dance and the money ain't yours. That's just a red pill. Got a blue and a handful of Advils. I'm the new nitty. Fuck it, nitty the old me. So I'ma tell the buyer what nitty told me. Ah. I got that. Mm -mm. I got that. Got. Damn, I'm your pusher man. I'm your, I'm 
yo, push a man. Pimp, slap it, toe, tag it. I'm just trying to fight the man. I'm yo, push a man. I'm yo, I'm yo, push a man. I got that. Sometimes. See my face in the streets and the tweets and the read the order red eye if you read sometimes. She got blessings on her knees, she a fiend for the D, even though I only beat one time. One time it was one, two times, it was true, bless me, it was three sometimes. Shouts out to Nate, I jack ball and I bop, I flex. Got neck from all of these thoughts, I sex. Rastafari, I shot us, yes. I safari, me casa, yes. Poppy feel to that pop She came to party, she popped the molly, said come to pop and she said pop yes. I got that mm. I got that goddamn. I'm your pusher man. I'm your, I'm your pusher man. Pimp, slap it, toe, tag it. I'm just trying to fight the man. I'm your pusher man. I'm your, I'm your pusher man. Specifically a composition, cause they never been in opposition, getting violations from the nation, correlating you dry snitch. I've been riding around with my blunt on my lips, with the sun in my eyes and my gun on my hip. Paranoia on my mind, got my mind on the fritz. But a lot of niggas dying, so my nine with the shits. 
I've been riding around with my blood on my lips, with the sun in my eyes and my gun on my hip. Paranoia on my mind, got my mind on the fritz. But a lot of niggas dying, so my night with the shit. Of fireworks, and I ponder what's worse between knowing it's over and dying first. Cause everybody dies in the summer. When they say goodbyes, tell them while it's spring. I heard everybody's dying in the summer. So pray to God for a little more spring. I know you scared. You should ask us if we scared to. If you was there. We just knew you cared to. This was my last, my last shit. Uh, it would have to be mad important. Chain smoking, chain dropping. Go it would have to sound like a Prince song. Motherfucking, mother, I shut your mouth. Still a chain smoking, name dropping. Go looking, motherfucking, mother, I shut your mouth. Brain broken, Frank Ocean is a state. Hitting satin, wool, green, gripping, pen, dripping. Mother, I shut your mouth. Somebody pray for the guy, oh lord. I wonder what Michael's on. Sun jamming, new and share, rapping, trapping, tripping, sitting, sipping, glue, and chewing, Michael done. Should've died, yelling, Yolo was a lion, you a lion, wonder why you wanna die so young. You and I look just alike, and I'm afraid that this one right here might be less than that I write a song. Not a nigga wanna go out with a bang. But I ain't tryna go out it though So I ain't tryna go out it though Got a lot of ideas that I throw out the door Last chance joint, gotta be a dance joint From an introspective drug out standpoint Throw bands joint on a whole hands joint Old school for my own old man joint Still a chain smoking Name dropping Green, green, green. 